Greetings. So welcome to another live Monday night session. In tonight's session, we're going to be, um, again, doing some conscious connected breathing. But tonight in particular, I'd like to look at a couple of practices which are widely recognized as very potent and direct routes to self-realization. So these two techniques, uh, which you may have already heard of, um, are what I call determined stillness, or commonly known as strong determination sitting, as well as meditative self-inquiry, which is basically the who am I or what am I question, which you ask once you're in a meditative state. So the tricky thing about these practices, and especially self-inquiry, is that when we start to dig into the true nature of self, or the true nature of reality, the brain, our thinking mind, the cognitive centers will try to take control of that and sort of package it. And we'll try to relate it to concepts and we'll conceptualize this versus experience it. So we can use the practices of breath work and meditation to get out of our thinking brain a little bit and come into a space of just pure present moment awareness or just coming to a place of conscious attention. And, and if you have experienced that stillness through meditation or through psychedelic experiences where the default mode network, the thinking brain sort of moves into the background and you're just a crisp space of, of pure awareness, you'll have a reference point with which to frame that, like to see what I'm talking about. Um, otherwise, if you haven't had that experience, then it may be sort of abstract. So what I'd really invite you to do in this session is just let go of any expectation around what it should be or whether you're doing it right. And uh, if I talk about concepts such as uh, self-realization or true self, and there's a yeah, right, that comes on in your head, or like, what does that even mean? Just let go of any of the dialogue or inner critiquing of your experience and just open to the experience of just paying attention without overthinking it. That's all I'm asking about, asking for. And so with this, we're going to be breathing really deeply. And then we're going to be really paying attention to our body. And we're going to be just in a place of awareness to what's going on in the body. <clears throat> the breath work has the potential to really quiet uh, the thinking part of the brain if you commit to really breathing dip deeply. Many of us will reach a point at which we feel like there's a little bit of dizziness or lightheadedness if you're really committing to breathing deep, if you're able to. And that's often where we'll tend to pull back a bit. And that's fine, that's to be expected. But after you've done a couple of rounds of this and you realize that you're okay, you're safe, and in fact, you may feel a lot better and might be a little less stressed and busy in the mind, you might feel a lot more connected to your body, then you can develop a trust for the experience and the, the subsequent rounds as I invite you to go a little bit more deep into the experience and breathe a little bit more strongly, you can feel a little bit more confident and comfortable in doing that. So the key word is surrender like really let go into the experience surrender and to the degree which with with which you're able to let go in that capacity and really surrender to it as to that extent you'll have a, a profound experience so um, it's sort of what you put into it is what you get out so it's easy to say don't overthink it and and, and don't hang out in your your brain trying to label everything um, but that's uh easier said than done hence the practices is it best to lie down? Someone asked Joshua, nice name. So, um, you know what, when you get into the deeper, uh, breathwork practices, you may find it easier to surrender or to let go into it or to breathe a little more deeply. Um, if you're lying down, um, that said during the breathwork, the, the meditation component, we're going to be inviting you to participate in what I call a somatic meditation where you're, really meditating or focusing on body sensations <clears throat> during the determined stillness. The main thing is I don't want you to fall asleep. So as long as you can lie down and feel still like you're still attentive and aware and alert, then absolutely lying down is great. The two th basic things I want you to pay attention to are that your back is fairly straight, but not forced tense upright. And that you so that you can have a good energy flow in the body, but also breathe deeply. If you're hunched forward a little bit, you've got a lot of cushions, your head's propped forward, you may find it challenging to, um, to breathe deeply, to fully inflate your lungs because you're sort of hunched forward. 
Uh, and the second thing is that you can be relaxed but alert. Okay, so uh, if you are sitting, um, you may find it helpful to have back support so that when you start to breathe deeply, if you're feeling like, well, I'm getting a little swimmy, like, ooh, and you might hold back a little bit. Perfect. You got it done. So, uh, yeah, so a little bit of back support, but you can still open up if you need to. And if you feel like kind of leaning back a little bit, you're, you know, you're supported and you're secure. Um, some of you are familiar with this, these breathwork techniques and you know your body and you could be sitting in meditative uh, meditation posture or position, uh, be totally fine and know that you're grounded and you can go hard. Um, otherwise, you can lie down. Absolutely. So um, if this is one of your first sessions, welcome. Um, I appreciate you all being here. It's a nice group. It's nice to see more people coming out to this. And it's nice to see that there's an investment in these practices and that people see the value of coming back to your center, of paying attention to the body and emotions that are held therein. And that spending a little time to just focus on yourself, your self-care, your self-realization um, is really important and healthy, especially in these days and times where our attention is constantly pulled outwards to the drama that's being manifested around us. So it's not an either or, but I think if we're navigating a very strange reality right now, uh, coming from a centered, grounded place, you'll make much more effective, intelligent actions rather be, than being influenced by the circumstances around you. So in a very practical sense, these are really important practices. So welcome and thank you for coming. So before we begin, for those who are new, you might want to have some water, have some Kleenex if you need to blow your nose during the breathwork practices. And you might want some lip moisturizer if your lips get dry. Um, I do uh, invite you during the breathing exercises to move if your body wants to move. Sometimes if you're breathing hard and you're getting a rhythm, just rocking your body with the breath helps you get out of your head and just get uh, in, into a and sort of automated rhythm with it. I'll be coaching that as we go through it. And as you uh, are doing the breath work and as, as well as sensing into the body during the um, determined stillness, you may find that there's some emotions that want to come up for like no reason at all. And if that's the case, I encourage you, if you're feeling comfortable and safe in the space you're in, to just let them come, whether it's laughter or tears or there's just something that wants to come up and as, as a sound or movement. Um, if you haven't had a an experience where you've had a little bit of an emotional release, it might seem a little strange, but if you feel some sign of it, roll with it. Okay, so find your position that you'd like to remain for the next little while. Now, if you're watching this uh, as a recording, uh, you may find it helpful to um, do some stretching beforehand. You may find it helpful to do a little bit of yoga, um, just some basic movements. If you want to do that now, if you're watching live as well, all right, so let's find that position. And I'd invite you to just close your eyes. So as soon as you close your eyes, just notice that there's a change of state. As soon as you remove the visual stimulus, it's an invitation to bring your awareness into your inner landscape, to move your attention, attention inward. So just notice that as soon as you close your eyes, there's a little bit of a slowing down. There's an opportunity to just start to let the body settle. Start to let those wheels that have been spinning all day slow down. Giving yourself full permission to let go. Deeply relax. Imagine if your brain and all of the things that you've been keeping track of are like browser windows on a computer and start to close those windows. And just trust that everything is saved. You're not gonna lose any information by letting it go right now. Just for the next few minutes, you have full permission to just be, and breathe and feel. And my role here is to hold space for you and to guide you so there's very little you need to think about or do. Just open your mind, open that unconscious or subconscious aspect of the mind that can just take in the sounds and the words without needing to analyze or contemplate. And then just take a nice big deep breath 
And on the exhale, just let all of the thoughts go. Breathe it out, relax. All tensions out on the exhale. Fully release. Totally surrender. And the next breath in, breathe into your belly. Feel your belly filling up through the mouth or nose. Fill up the belly, big, 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 big. And slow down the exhale, really slow. Through the lips. Purse lip breathing, slow that exhale down, really slow it down. <clears throat> and we're gonna do that a few more times. Breathing in, breathe into the belly, nice and deep and full. Feel the belly get soft and full. And then when you exhale, slow, slow, slow. And notice that as you're slowing the expiration down, there's a sense of deep relaxation is you're allowing your ner nervous system to just let go and relax. <clears throat> Next breath in, breathe in that vitality, energy, peace. Exhaling any tension, any extraneous thoughts, letting go of any to-do lists. There's nothing for you to figure out right now. There's no problems for you to solve. There's nothing for you to do, just breathing in deep. Letting it go slow. Now, as you continue to breathe in nice and deep, I'd like you to feel like you're filling your entire stomach to the point where you need to fill up your chest after. Breathing in, mouth or nose, doesn't matter right now. Breathing into the stomach, fill it up, fill it up, fill up your chest next, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. And then on the exhale, just let it go slow. And once you exhale, slowly fill up, like you're filling up your body from the bottom up with oxygen and energy, almost like pouring clear water into a cup, filling up the bottom, the belly, filling it up midway, the chest, and imagine if you could fill yourself up right to the head, breathing into your head, and then it slowly overflows from the top down, emptying out, emptying out, emptying out, all the way out, let it out, let it out. And the next breath starts again. So whatever feels comfortable through your mouth or your nose, basically relaxing your belly enough so that when you breathe in, you feel a little bit of air filling the abdomen, the bottom of the lungs before it fills up the chest. And really top up the lungs all the way up as deep as you can without tensing up your shoulders. Nice big deep breath without shrugging or creating tension up through your neck. You find that point where you're able to breathe in all the way without stressing yourself. And then when you exhale, it's just a letting go. It's a release. So you can let it, let it out a little bit more quickly. Let it fall out naturally. <sighs> and pull it back in, bottom up. Now what I'd like you to do, the same basic technique, filling it up, nice, full, slow, deep breath from the belly to the chest, all the way to the head. And you're gonna remove any gap or hold at the top. So once you fully inflate, you're just gonna let it slowly start emptying out. Slowly let all of that air out. And then as soon as you exhale, no gap or pause at the bottom. Slowly start breathing it back in, breathing it back in, breathing it back in. And at the top, no hold or gap, let it fall out, let it fall out, let it fall out. So it's going to be like this, breathing in, out, in, out, or nose, out, in, out, keep going. No pause at the hold at the top. No gap or waiting at the bottom. Belly, chest, head all the way up. Fully release, relax on the exhale. Pulling it back up, no breaks. The effort is on the inhale. The release and letting go is the exhale. Pull it in with intention. Just completely drop it out, let it go, let it go. Don't have to push it out. Next breath comes back in. Now you may already start to be feeling a little bit of lightness in the head, maybe a little dizziness or a swimmy feeling, that's okay. Keep going. 
I'm going to guide you very soon to start to breathe a little bit more quickly, a little bit deeper, but not yet. Just get this rhythm. Find the rhythm where you can breathe in full, 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 but no hold, no pause, let it go. The next breath comes in, up, 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 then they just completely let it go. Your job is as soon as the breath falls out, the next one starts. Initiate the breath in on each exhale. Imagine it's like waves rising up, rising up, rising up, and then let it fall, crashing. The next breath pulls up, pulls up, breathe it in, breathe it in, and let it roll over the top, crests and falls, rolling down into the next breath. Breathing it in. Let it go. Next breath comes in. Let it go. Keep it going. One breath after the other. One breath after the other. Make it circular. Make one breath roll up over the top, falling out, and rolling it back up from the bottom. Roll over and over. Breath after breath. Breathing in fully, deeply, releasing, relaxing, and out. Breathing in fully, deeply, releasing, relaxing, and out. Now I'm going to ask you for the next few breaths to breathe a little bit deeper and stronger. We're going to do about 10 big, strong, deep breaths with no pauses. And then I'm going to cue you to exhale naturally and hold it out. Breathing in deep, let it go. Mouth or nose, let it go. Whatever you like, keep it going. No pauses, keep going, breathing in, breathing in, let it go, let it go. We have about six more big breaths. Breathing as I'm speaking, you're gonna keep breathing it in and out. Make it deep, make it, make it strong, let it go. Pull it all the way in, 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 and then let it go. We have about four or five big breaths. Make these the biggest breaths of the day. Pull it in, let it go. Three big breaths, make them big, come on, commit to it. And after two, you're gonna breathe it out and hold it out. One more, breathe in. Exhale it out, exhale it out. Hold it out. Everyone exhale, hold the breath out now. Eyes closed, feel the stillness, hold it. If you find that you need to take a breath in, you can take a little reset breath, which is a, and then let it out again and keep holding. I want us all on the same page, holding a little longer. Exhale it, hold it. Wait for your nervous system to settle. Hold. Get ready for a big deep breath in. Breathing it in in five, four, Three, all the way to the top and hold it at the top. Now. <laughs> hold it in. Breathe it in and hold it in. Keep holding. Keep holding. Get ready for a big exhale. And when you do exhale, I want to hear a big sigh. Not yet. Another 10 seconds or so. If some air needs to escape, <sighs> pull it back in. <sighs> and keep holding. You can do a reset, but if you wait just a little longer, you may find that you don't need to. You let everything settle, let those waves of vibration wash over you, you may find you can hold longer than you thought. Getting ready for the exhale with a big sigh, make some noise for it in five, four, three, two, exhale. <sighs> Breathe naturally. allow the natural rhythm of breath to resume and as we get ready to move into this next cycle of breathing consciously connecting each breath removing any pause at the top or the bottom I'd like to invite you to breathe primarily through your nostrils now if you find that you're too congested or you find this very difficult you can use your mouth and your nose together but let's try at least a few breaths in and out of the nose only, and then adjust if you have to. Breathing in the nose, and out the nose. 
Belly, chest, head up. Just let it go. Effort in. Just release it out. Keep it going. As I'm speaking, you're continuing to breathe. Breathing it in the nose, nice and deep and full, belly, chest, head. Let it go, let it fall out, let it fall out, let it fall out. Next breath starts back in and up, in and up. Pull it in, pull it in. Release it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Breathing in fully and deeply. Full, full, full up in the nose. Let it fall out of the nose, naturally rolling out. But the next breath is ready to start. Back up again, back up. Pull, 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 up, 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 in, in, in. Exhale, naturally letting it release. Keep going. No pause, top or bottom. If you find that you're starting to get a little lightheaded and you wanna lie down or use back support, you can. If you find it helps to rock your body a little bit front to back or move your head a little side to side with the breath, that's good. Let your body move if it wants to or just become very still. But I want you to start to breathe a little deeper. If you know that you're getting a little relaxed and you're holding back a bit, let's start to pull that breath in a little harder. As long as you're not tensing up your neck, breathe it in more before you let it go. Should be at least loud enough to hear your own breath. Breathe it in, pull, 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 pull. Let it go. Very soon, I'm going to introduce a drum as a metronome to follow the tempo of the beat of the drum. It's going to be one beat, inhale, and the next is an exhale. So when I introduce the drum, you can adjust your rhythm so that I'm guiding your tempo. Will be nothing to think about. If you need to start using your mouth as well, that's fine. We're gonna pick it up. It's gonna get intense, a little bit more, surrendering, letting go to it, surrendering, we're okay. It's just breath, here we go. We're gonna start to breathe in a little bit deeper, fuller, stronger. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. bit quicker now we're going to start picking it up every beat in every beat out just follow the rhythm here we go inhale exhale inhale exhale don't think about it just do it just follow along with the breathe follow along with the rhythm follow along with the wave after wave after wave after wave breath after breath after breath after breath in in, out. Get rid of your excuses and reasons why not. Any questioning or doubt can go out with the breath. Just breathing with it. Become the breath. Here we go. Commit to it now. I'm going to go a little quicker for 10 to 15 breaths. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're almost there. It's only a few more breaths. Make these next few breaths count. I want you to get the breath in and out with me. Commit to it a little harder. Work it. These last five or six breaths really matter. In and out, in and out. Here we go. Get ready for the exhale and hold. We're going to do a couple of big breaths in. Here we go. Breathe it in, but let it out all the way. Let it go, let it go, let it go, all the way out, hold it out, hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. Exhale and hold, exhale and hold. Everyone should be breathing it out and holding it empty. Hold it empty. Allow the waves of sensation to wash over you. Just completely surrendering to that sensation of vibration in the body. Listen to stillness. Allow the silence to just sink in at a very deep way. Notice the thoughts are just moving into the background. You don't have to fight them or get rid of them. Just don't follow them. Feel your body. Notice your body sensations. If you need to reset, you know you can do a... <sighs> and hold it out again, but realize you don't need to. If you just wait, everything is becoming very still. The heart rate is slowing down. 
you have so much oxygen in your body, the more still you become, the longer you can hold. Very, very still, very, very relaxed. When I cue you to, we're going to take a very deep breath. Imagine that you're pulling energy from the bottom of your spine up to your head, not thinking about it, just doing it, going for it, breathing from the bottom of the spine up to the head in five, four, three, two. Breathe it in. Up. Hold it at the top. Hold it in the head. Elevate your energy. Bring it to your higher centers and hold it there. Let the body do its thing as you hold. Let go of thought and judgment. Allow the sensations to wash over. Feel the vibration in your body. Feel it and hold, knowing that if you need to, uh, you can pull it back up and keep holding, but you don't need to. Let go of that thought. Let go of that judgment. Let your shoulders relax and your jaw unhinge, but keep holding. Listen and feel. Getting ready for a big sigh on the exhale. Anything that you're holding on to that no longer serves you, you know what that is at a very deep level. When you exhale, it's going out of your body in five, four, three. Big sigh, big sound. Ah. One more big breath in with a big sigh for those of you who didn't get all of it out. Big breath in. Big sigh, come on. Ah. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Just breathe naturally. Just feel your body. I'm still. Notice the vibrations. What sensations are there right now? Just settle into them in a deep way. We don't need to attach meaning to anything. Just be in it. Dissolve into it. And there's nothing to think about as you move into the next round. Breathing primarily through your mouth now. If you need to take a sip of water, you can do so. belly, chest, head, through the mouth. I recommend you use pursed lips, breathing through the lips like so that your throat does not become too dry. And then just relax the exhale through the mouth. The next breath starts with no pause. And the exhale is just a release, a release. No waiting for the next breath though. Let it go. Every inhale is effort in. Every exhale is a letting go, a surrender. The discipline is the pulling in. Inspiration, inspiration. The surrender is the releasing, exhaling out. The yin, the yang, one leads into the other. Both parts of the same continuous breath. One rolls into the next. Let it become automatic. Breathing in, the mouth up, up, up. Let it fall out over the top, falling out. The next breath starts again. Let it fall out, fall out, fall out. Rolling one breath into the next. See if you can allow it to become almost like a rhythm that's automatic, continuous, circular. Keep going. Breathing it in, pulling it up. Letting it go, falling it out. Breathing it in, pulling it up. Letting it go, falling out. Rolling one breath into the next. We're going to start to breathe a little bit deeper and stronger again, but now you know it's safe, and you know it's okay, and you know that after it just feels very calm and peaceful. So as you feel any sense of resistance or any obstacles, you just breathe through it. You just breathe through it. 
don't give those thoughts any space by removing the gap at the top or the bottom. Now I encourage you to let go of any tracking of time, any counting of breaths, any judging of your experience. You have an opportunity now to get something very profound out of this exercise. If you just put down the clocks and the phones and the measuring and close your eyes and breathe it in, let it go. Trust me, the whole world will be waiting for you after this. Keep going, breathe it in, let it go. Keep going. Notice that the thoughts that are in the way will become more and more convincing. We'll think that these are legitimate reasons to hold back or pull back. But this is the ego grabbing hold of that steering wheel. And we're having an opportunity to become connected with our true self, connected with that space of awareness that is beyond thoughts. Breathe through it. Breathe through any holding on. Breathe through that story you're telling yourself. Keep going bigger and deeper. I'm going to introduce the drum. You don't have to think about it because the breath comes in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out. We don't have very many left. We're almost there. See if you can breathe through. It's almost like you're entering some crashing waves. But if you keep leaning into those waves, keep going through that resistance, trust me, you'll enter clear, still water. You get to the stillness, but you gotta move through the crashing waves. And here they come, one, two, in, out. Even if it's getting intense, even if your thoughts are washed away, even if you're dissolving into the space around you, even if you don't exist anymore, just become the breath. Let the breath breathe you. Let the breath breathe you. Breathing in and out. Here we go. We're gonna pick it up just for a few and then we're gonna exhale and hold. Here we go. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Get ready for some slow, big, deep breaths. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. One more time. Inhale. Let it go slow and soft. Let it go slow and soft and hold it out. Hold it out. Let it go slow and soft. Hold it out. Hold it out. Exhale and hold everything out now. still just feel your body anytime your awareness comes into thinking or wondering how long move it down into your limbs into your arms into your legs the reset is there if you need to but see if you just wait and relax. See if you can hold, but keep your body soft. Hold, but let your jaw unhinge. Hold the breath, but drop the shoulders. Feel the tingling in your fingertips and in your toes. The reset is there if you need, but just move away from thinking, tracking. Feel the vibrations of sensation in the body. Notice there's a slowing down. Allow yourself to just dissolve into that stillness. You're almost there. You're doing great. Completely surrendering. And when you do breathe in, in the next 10 seconds, imagine that you're breathing in everything that is for your highest good manifesting your highest intention in life, fully energizing, fully healing. Breathe it in, in five, four, three, two, inhale, in and hold, in and hold, hold it in, hold it in and relax the body while you're holding. Notice 
notice what happens as you hold. Allow that to wash over you. Allow that vibration to just penetrate every cell in the body. Let your body do its thing. Upgrading your DNA, elevating and supporting your immune system, cleaning the body of any dead cells, regenerating, rejuvenating, energizing. Shh, be still. Just listen and feel. Getting ready to exhale in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You got this. Feel all of the holding on, all of that old baggage that you have. Let it go with the exhale. Anything that's heavy that you're holding on to it doesn't serve you. Let it go with the exhale now. Ah. There's a little bit more in there. One more big breath in. <sighs> Breathing naturally. You know, I'd like you to just notice that as you're allowing the breath to happen on its own, the body just breathes. Nothing for you to do or think about. Just let that breath happen. And just notice the sensations of the breath in your body. And let's direct your awareness now specifically to any and all sensations in your head, in your face. For this next part of the exercise, the practice, I'd like you to invite deep stillness. See how it feels to just be very still as you move your awareness through your entire body. Invite a sense of unconditional feeling whatever you feel we embrace we don't label as good or bad radical acceptance completely accept whatever you feel notice any sensations that are uncomfortable and just explore them objectively with a sense of curious awareness without trying to change or fix anything. If you need to adjust your position, do so very slowly and mindfully without being reactive or jerking up to scratch an itch or shrug a shoulder or stretch something. Breathe naturally, feel whatever you feel and let it be as it is only responding if you have to very slowly and mindfully as you move your awareness out of the head face and neck and down through the shoulders upper back along the shoulder blades down the spine into the lower back feel the entire back of your torso breathe naturally just allow your awareness to settle over any and all body sensations in the back of your body. Complete acceptance, unconditionally feeling whatever presents. Notice the tendency to react. Recognize that these sensations were already there before we brought our awareness to them. And we didn't feel the need to respond to them. And now that we're focusing and paying attention, all sorts of urges to react come up. Where we're training ourselves to be responsive versus reactive. Recognize the triggers and our labels of them as good or bad. 
and just take them as pure awareness of sensation and vibration. And this way, what triggers us in our life and in our bodies becomes our choice of how we respond. Moving your awareness through from the back of the body now into the front of your torso, your chest, your abdomen, any and all sensations around the rib cage. Feel that entire torso, the whole center of your body, any and all sensations. Breathe naturally. And just allow what's there to be there without tensing up around it, without labeling it. See if you can just be the observer. Let those thoughts just move into the background. Thoughts are like energy competing for a spot in your awareness, a job in your attention. You're just not hiring right now. So let them come and go, but bring your awareness back to the feeling of sensations in your body. Moving your attention now out to the arms, both arms. Feel the arms. All sensation in the arms. Maybe you feel your pulse. Perhaps a tingling in the fingertips. Perhaps a little vibration. The heaviness of the arms. Both arms. And moving that awareness down through your hips and your lower body. Sensing into your legs. Letting go of any labels of positive or negative. It's just sensation. Just notice any and all sensation through the entire lower body. Right from the hips down to the feet. Notice the heaviness of both legs. Now, can you expand your awareness in a very general way to include the whole body? Soften your focus, spread it out, move back, open up the arms, the legs, the head, the torso. Your whole body is one piece. How does it feel to have a body? How does your body feel? as a whole. Notice the tingling in the fingertips and the toes. There's a whole universe of sensation in a very small part of your body. Also notice any particularly strong sensations. And without resisting or trying to change or fix them or label them as what they mean, can you bring your awareness very gently, at least close to that strong sensation in the body, the one that's kind of distracting you? And instead of moving away from it, can you just sit with it? Just acknowledge it. Just feel its edges. Just notice if that sensation has any movement or color associated with it. Maybe as you sense into it, there are some emotions attached to it or behind it. Does that strong sensation in the body, wherever you're feeling it, have layers? Perhaps there's a pulsing, tightness, underlying, a tingling or vibration that undulates or changes over top. Perhaps it's not one sensation but layers of many sensations one over the other fluctuating moving change, changing pulsing <clears throat> and with your awareness in the body listening honoring it letting go of any thoughts what comes from this deep place within you from a place of feeling when you ask yourself who am I who am I what am I? What am I?
You're not your body. Your body was this small when you were born, and now it's this big, accumulating matter from your environment through eating and drinking over the years. The body changes. What's the constant? What's the unchanging self? It's not the thoughts that come and go. The thinking mind is constantly fluctuating. It's not your beliefs and ideas which can change from year to year. What is thinking? Who are you really? If you were to let everything else go, let go of everything you put on today, makeup, clothes, let it all go, everything that's not you. What if you were to let go of the layers of thought, self-identity, let it go, but you're still there. What's left? Who am I really? Now, who is asking? What is it that's asking, who am I? Let go of your ideas and concepts. It's not with words. It'll be something you feel or experience even behind that. Nothing to intellectualize. Just surrender, relax deeper, just a little bit more. Doesn't have to come to you now, but what's remaining when everything else goes? You strip away those layers. You're not your name your body, your thoughts, your history, your beliefs, all that's gone and something's still there. What is aware of you asking this? What's even behind that? What's left? Empty it all. Let it all go. Any ideas around that? Something's still aware. Keep going. Strip it away. Throw that out. Let that go. Just keep dropping below what's below that. There's still an awareness. There's still a you, the unchanging, infinite, everlasting, conscious awareness. The peace that all of these experiences occurs within. You are that unchanging, everlasting, infinite, experiencer and the experience beyond words pure that space of emptiness now even let go of that just be still breathe And as we move back into becoming a little bit more aware of our body again, feeling the surface that we're supported on, you can allow your conscious, your deep subconscious to sit with that question, what am I? Who am I? Even beyond the question. Let it come to you in whatever way it wants to. As you start to become more aware of sounds in the room and the sound of my voice. What is listening? Who is hearing? So you start to notice light entering through your eyelids. Take a nice deep breath. Am I breathing? Am I being breathed? Who is breathing? And when you're ready, very slowly come back to the room. Gently open your eyes when you're ready and stretch if you want. Move your body. Take another big deep breath. And if you feel like you're in a space where you want to explore this further, then by all means, as we close, you can go back into that self-inquiry and see how far back you can surrender into 
and just realize how much we identify as that really isn't essentially or fundamentally who we are. All of this changing experience is happening from this constant space of awareness that's there. And I'd like to just close with a, an invitation to share all of our energy for a positive attention for the planet right now, as there's a lot of strange energy and confusion. A lot of people are a little bit fearful. So um, I really believe that if we bring our, our positive awareness and attention to um, sending love and light and healing and positivity, we can elevate that energy, not only for ourselves, but uh, for all of those around us. So just as we close, <clears throat> I'd like to invite you to just place your hand in your chest or connect with your body in some way. And first, just invite a deep sense of wellness, well-being, happiness for ourselves. Knowing in a deep way that we are safe. Our heart is beating. Our lungs are breathing. We have shelter. Our needs are met. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be safe, may we be free from suffering, and may we experience peace. And expanding that, extending it through our families, our communities, our countries, to the whole planet, all living beings, may all living beings be happy. And let's really offer that vibration, may all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from suffering. Yeah, even those ones that we don't like, and that guy, and that girl who said that thing, and even offering them peace of mind. And may all beings be free. Thank you all for joining. Thanks for your patience as we went a little bit over today. I look forward to connecting next week. If anyone has any questions or wants to... Um, reach out to me uh, between sessions. Um, the links are in the chat section or for those of you watching the recording, I'll post some links in the description under the video. And uh, yeah, I look forward to next time. And uh, are, are we doing questions or we're done? Uh, sure we can. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some questions. I'll just close off as far as the, the video portion so that those who are watching the recording don't take too long. So here I'll, I'll, just, I'll just disappear again like I phased in at the beginning. Here. <clears throat> All right. Transcending, here we go, and bye-bye.